Now at 10, the search for a missing 19-year-old is now almost at year 5. Kaylin Dennison was 19 at the time of her disappearance and hasn't been heard from since she arrived in Midland after boarding a plane from Nevada. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carson bush Jost, And I'm Madeline Beerster. Now, Dennison's last call to family was a frantic one. I sat down with them to raise awareness about Kaylin's disappearance and hopefully to bring her home. Didn't have any idea that she was planning on leaving. Nothing. I, none of her friends knew. 19-year-old Caitlin Dennison boarded a plane from Reno, Nevada sometime on January 9th of 2018 from Midland, Texas. January 9th, she texted Rachel and said, hey, I'm going to call you um, at this time and pick up, pick up. And then that time came and she didn't call her. So um, the next day she did call Rachel and said, hey, I'm in Midland. Texas. Um, I'm inside of Walmart right now I'm using the Wi-Fi to call. Uh, she didn't have service on her phone. Caitlin's family and friends didn't know she knew anyone from the basin and were shocked to hear she was there. It was a call that would change the lives of the Denison family. And so she called Rachel, said she was scared. She said that the man she was with made her scared for her life. Um, she hung up abruptly, sent patient to Rachel and stopped answering and it has been almost five years it'll be five years in January mm -hmm. since we've heard from Caitlin that would be the last time they heard from Caitlin the location pinged to the Walmart on Midland Street near Loop 250. Caitlin was also one to two months pregnant at the time of her disappearance adding to the family's worries I just had never felt like so defeated and I mean angry and um just empty I guess is the best way to describe it it's not like that feeling hasn't stopped her phone hasn't picked up service since that day and her phone hasn't been found either it's a lot of like confusion and frustration and like heartache it's that feeling hasn't really wavered it's just kind of exhausting it's like a part of you is missing it's like Rachel and I you know like both of our older sister we loved her and still do very dearly and it's just like a part of us is gone not knowing where she is if mm -hmm. she's okay if she was safe if she was hurt mm -hmm. it's exhausting having that weight on you constantly all the time thinking about someone that you care for with your whole being and you're not there to help them or know what happened since then the family says they're still searching for answers almost five years later for midland police just to get her home and um just to get some closure after all these years and just yeah most importantly getting her home and keeping her safe the investigation was turned over from Reno's jurisdiction to Midlands, and a new detective was assigned to the case. We reached out to the public information officer for the city of Midland, who said they are not willing to do an interview about Caitlin's disappearance. We just want her back home. Miss her. There's also been no information provided by the airport of who bought Caitlin's plane ticket. Surveillance video from the airport where Caitlin was picked up is gone. And so is the surveillance video from the Walmart Caitlin called family from. She was always there for her friends, um, which is why it's so weird that she's been gone almost five years because she wouldn't go this long without talking to someone. Caitlin's two younger sisters, as well as one of her best friends, have started a GoFundMe. They're using that money to help raise awareness of Caitlin's disappearance. That money helps fund billboards, potential DNA testing, and would also go to help Caitlin in the future if she's found. There's like DNA testing that costs like an arm and a leg. So literally like the GoFundMe to fall back on has been very helpful, but we're also hoping to be able to use that for when she does come home and have, give her something to fall back on as well. DNA has been provided by Caitlin's younger sister and another family member for matching potential. Caitlin does have several identifiable tattoos and piercings, as well as bleach blonde hair. Her family says they just want her home, no matter what.
she is just such a bubbly person Mm -hmm. and that that never stopped no matter what she was going through she was just always so kind to everyone now the family is hoping this cold case can be solved so anyone with information about caitlin's disappearance or if you think you might have seen her at any point in the last five years please call midland police and you can always submit a tip anonymously anonymously through the crime stoppers app that's p3 tips